So in this series, we'll be learning about Git and Git, right? So it's the first day in your new company and you have joined this company as a software engineer. So in the first meeting with your team, your manager assigns you a bug to resolve. So you have no idea about the code base of the company. You have no idea about how to resolve this bug. But you say, okay, I will do it. I'll take this as a challenge. So first thing that you have to do is you have to first download the code from GitHub on the internet where your company's code is present to your local system where you will start seeing the code, right? So when you do it, it takes two days to just go through the code and you then finally find the bug in the code. Okay, so you ping your manager that I think I found the bug. He says that, okay, cool, send me the PR. What is this PR? So I go to my senior and ask the same question. He says that, boy, it's not that easy. You have to first get the code from the github.com. That is, you have to clone the code. And then after cloning the code, you have to do your changes in that code. When you finally decide that, okay, the changes are done, then you have to add the changes to the staging area, commit the changes, and then push back the changes to the remote. And after that, you have to create a PR on GitHub and then add your manager as approver. And when he approves it, you have to then finally merge it to the main branch. <sighs> so you say, I don't know, can you do it for me? And he replies, go on the internet and learn about it. Okay. So we are here to teach you Git and GitHub from scratch. And we'll be going through each and every small steps in depth to resolve these kind of issues. Cool.